The Cleveland NAACP is calling for the termination of a senior city official after News 5 investigators revealed he was at the center of a federal civil rights lawsuit as a police officer. Safety advisor in January. News 5 investigators found the former Washington, D.C. detective was accused of violating the civil rights of an elderly black couple. News 5 investigator Sarah Buttison broke this story Wednesday, followed, follows through tonight. Sarah, the NAACP also has launched a petition demanding McHugh's termination. You've got that right, Rob. In this news release that just came down this afternoon, the Cleveland NAACP says it has launched a petition on change.org demanding the immediate termination of Philip McHugh. It says his previous conduct underscores a pattern of inadequate and racially biased policing. We've also learned tonight McHugh was Mayor Bibb's college roommate for two semesters. We first told you Wednesday how Philip McHugh was named in this federal civil rights lawsuit. It alleged the former Washington, D.C. detective violated the Fourth Amendment rights, maliciously prosecuted, and inflicted emotional distress on an elderly black couple over a bogus allegation. The couple's attorney told me D.C. settled the lawsuit for, quote, a substantial amount. That type of history is one that should give folks pause. Aisha Bell Hardaway is a law professor at Case Western Reserve University. She also served on the federal monitoring team overseeing Cleveland police reforms for more than eight years. You don't bring someone in that can take you back, right, to where you've, where you've tried to move from. Um, and that's, that's really where the concern is. My initial reaction is that, you know, where was the transparency in this process? Kareem Hinton is an organizer for Black Lives Matter Cleveland. We can only assume what it is that we're seeing, and that is somebody who went to school with him, so he basically hired a friend. This afternoon, the city's chief communications officer confirmed they were college roommates. In an email, she wrote, for two semesters, they shared a campus dorm with two other students at American University in Washington, D.C. As for whether they're friends, she wrote, I know that they have kept in touch since college and have a mutual respect for each other in their public service careers. She also confirmed the administration knew about the lawsuit when it hired McHugh as a senior public safety advisor for a salary of $124,000 a year and wrote that he was, quote, the most qualified candidate for the role. That doesn't really offer much insight or guidance into how the decision was made. Cleveland has been under federal oversight for close to a decade over officers' use of excessive force. The feds got involved after this high-speed chase and shooting left two unarmed people dead in 2012. Bell Hardaway says building trust with the community is critical to complete required reforms and without transparency about how Cleveland decided to hire the former D.C. detective, the city has created concern it didn't need to. Folks need to be asking why. Why, why did this, this have to happen? Why is it necessary for this individual to be brought in in any capacity over public safety? The city's chief communications officer says the role of senior public safety advisor was created last October, that it was publicly advertised and that there were other applicants for the role. In an email, Sarah Johnson said, quote, Mr. McHugh has dedicated his life to public service. He has received several commendations, promotions and awards throughout his career. Yesterday, she defended the city's decision to hire him, noting there was no finding of wrongdoing by the court or D.C. police related to the lawsuit. But again, there was a settlement, a settlement that was paid by D.C. taxpayers. Live in the newsroom, I'm News 5 investigator Sarah Buttison.